our dear protagonist ending up in jail to a beloved character getting killed and even the ending of the series that will eventually lead to the beginning of the testaments. Here are the moments that will change everything in The Handmaid's Tale Season 5. We will start off with the most popular theory currently that suggests June will end up in jail. I need her to know with me. June, do you want her to come after us? June Osborne is cancer. One character says in the trailer for The Handmaid's Tale Season 5, adding, we have to cut her out. The much anticipated continuation of the series premiere on Hulu on September 14th has got fans continuously coming up with different theories regarding June's quite uncertain future. The fourth installment of the series left us shocked with a satisfying and intense finale in which June and some other handmaids brutally killed Commander Fred Waterford. This was without a doubt one of the best moments in the entire series, a moment June truly enjoyed. In the official Season 5 trailer, she has no regrets. In fact, it's quite the opposite. She wants people, especially Serena, to know that it was her. She killed Fred. She wanted him to pay for everything that he has done to her, and she tasted sweet revenge. I killed him, and I loved it so much, she admits to Luke. Later in the trailer, he says to her, Do you want her to come after us? Obviously, talking about Waterford's widow, Serena, it's super clear that the next installment will mostly focus on the war between June and the widowed Serena. Serena hates to be the one who loses. She will do everything to make June pay for the things she's done, even if that means she could end up losing the war and even losing her life. Their conflict has been central since the very beginning and it's only been distracted by how awful Fred was and how he almost got in the way of their fight. Showrunner Bruce Miller said in an interview with Vanity Fair, adding that now Fred is out of the way and it doesn't take June long to realize that she did something that felt very good, but she might not have gotten rid of the most dangerous one first. The thing is, most fans don't realize that what June did will take her to jail. She can't escape being arrested. Elizabeth Moss agrees that June fears being arrested, and we completely understand her thoughts. June Osborne is a cancer. We have to cut her out. She chose revenge over Luke and her family, and Luke knows that very well. In one of the last scenes in season four, June holds her daughter Nicole while covered in blood. Luke looked at June's bloody face, realizing what his wife had done. I know. I'm sorry, she says to him. Just give me five minutes with her, then I'll go. As confirmed by the trailer for the upcoming episodes and Elizabeth Moss herself, June will fear being arrested, and that's a likely storyline that we will see in the next season, she told The Hollywood Reporter. I don't know where we pick up in episode one of season five. I will probably know in a few months, but she has murdered someone. And regardless of what Gilead thinks, that's illegal in most countries, so June thinks she's going to be in trouble. Another thing that will surprise most fans is the storyline in which Emily gets killed. Everything we want to know about Hannah, it's right there. Alexis Bledel won't appear in the next installment of the series. She decided to leave after the show's fourth season. After much thought, I felt I had to step away from The Handmaid's Tale at this time. Bedell said in a statement delivered to USA Today by her representative, I am forever grateful to show creator Bruce Miller for writing such truthful and resonant scenes for Emily. Bledel has been in the series ever since its debut in 2017. The actress has even won an Emmy for her role. The reason for her departure is not known yet, and we believe that the actress left the show in order to focus on other projects. Some fans believe that the creator of the series will explain her departure by killing her character off. A recast is another option, but it's unlikely that they will cast another actress after Bladell played the character in the previous four seasons. What do you think is the better option here? Some fans believe that season 5 is the last one. Let's get into more details about this, shall we? I pray for our children. May they live a life without all of this. Hate. The Handmaid's Tale will officially return for a fifth season, and according to Hulu, this might be the last season. A Hulu executive told Deadline that there were already discussions about how to end the dystopian show. The success of The Handmaid's Tale remains paramount for us, said Hulu's head of originals, Jordan Hellman, adding, 
that it is really important for them to give a proper conclusion to the series, meaning that they want to end this show in a creative fashion that feels organic. So we are in constant communication, literally right now talking with Bruce Miller, Lizzie Moss, and Warren Littlefield about what the best way to end The Handmaid's Tale. We haven't landed on an answer. I imagine we're going to be able to get that question in the coming months. This means that we will soon get into the plot of the Testaments. I killed him. And I loved it so much. The Handmaid's Tale has lasted for a long time, giving fans some of the most incredible storylines, performances, and plot twists in the entire history of cinema. Margaret Atwood's novel of the same name has proven to be a major success. But along the way, the story has received a continuation. This is no longer a story about June only. At this point, we want to know what will happen to Aunt Lydia, Hannah, Commander Lawrence, Luke, and the rest. So when The Handmaid's Tale ends, June's story will end as well, which will lead us to the world in The Testaments, a sequel to the series that is already in development, thanks to Hulu. We still don't know whether the creators of the series will give June the same ending as Atwood's novel, but we do know that Atwood's follow-up, The Testaments, doesn't focus on June. In fact, this novel focuses on one very villainous lady, Aunt Lydia. Hulu has acquired the rights to this new book, and we don't know the exact release date, but our guess is that we will see episodes of The Testament after the sixth season of The Handmaid's Tale. Anne Dowd did an interview with The Hollywood Reporter in which she was asked about her character's future. There are a lot of ways that Lydia is shifting. When asked about her character in The Testaments, she said that The Testaments is a fantastic novel. I'm very much looking forward to it. It takes place 15 years later, after the end of Handmaids. But this won't be a story that'll only focus on Aunt Lydia. We will also see a grown-up Hannah, who will eventually turn into an aunt. Some fans think that Gilead will inform June about her daughter's death, when in reality, they will make her an aunt, with her having no idea about her life before Gilead. There is one actress that won't make an appearance in the Testaments, Elizabeth Moss. We also know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. There's no way that she could have gotten to Fred on her own. She doesn't know what happened. The Testaments mentions her a couple of times, but no, the protagonist of The Handmaid's Tale does not appear in The Testaments. See you in the next video.